Okay. Forgot to turn on the speaker. Again. Hi there, guys. Welcome to One Leg Day. Series that, uh, well, showing you guys how I manage being one legged. And today, we're making barbecue pork. Or some will say honey roast pork. Um, today's ingredient pork belly. Uh, you would like something like a five layers pork belly. So you got fat, skin, fat, skin, fat, skin. It's because. Uh, when you cooked it, the fat reduces itself, but the the fat is what you want when you're cooking the meat because it just gives it that texture when you eat it and that crispiness when the fat just lightly roasted. Here is the recipe. Some char siu sauce. Char siu sauce meant honey, well, meant barbecue sauce, but it's like a different sauce. They can't call it barbecue sauce. It's the Chinese version of the barbecue sauce. Then you want some seafood sauce, which looks like a uh, Bloody Mary. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's like it's like a sweet seafood sauce. Yeah, it doesn't smell like seafood. Next, well, you want some salt as well, with some sugar, and last but not least, oyster sauce. So the first step will be marinating. These are all our ingredients. We need a teaspoon. A teaspoon. I think these trays are always a good thing to marinate your stuff in. So yeah, that's kind of my thing. We start off with the Chinese barbecue sauce. And it's like honey kind of um, thing. And they smell like... Smell just like um, uh, char siu. To speed up the marinating process, um, you need you need to use a fork. What you are doing is creating holes inside the pork for the sauce to get inside instead of just being outside. So we need more sauce. Uh, let's get more sauce in. Uh, normally two, two teaspoons will be enough um, for this portion, I think. So then we add some little a little seafood sauce because um, just the color of the barbecue sauce is not enough to create that kind of dark oyster sauce color that's why we have the oyster sauce here for experimental reasons yeah. but just a little bit just a little bit like that it's one uh, one teaspoon like a pinch of salt so a pinch of sugar, then we're turning those around, so we're turning those around and punching holes again. Oh, okay, all is done, now it's the mixing, um, I prefer using my own hands. When you're using this tray, don't forget uh, the spacing inside, like at the bottom, always all the sauce inside. Yeah, just mix well with it. And uh, you should see like a, a, a nice kind of red color change to, to your pork. Okay, we get these all in line. I'm uh, putting them into the fridge. I recommend three hours or above. Uh, but it's it's like purely depend on you. Oops. Into the fridge, which involves me hopping, hopping in here for this. Opening the fridge. The fridge is pretty tidy, I think, compared to many others. 
I'll put it in here. So, in here. Three hours later.